subscribe to a Kennedy Man show. Do it! Just do it! Coming to you from Industry Sound Studio in Modesto, California, it's the McHenry Man Show. Okay, yeah, right. that was pretty cool. That was funny shit, huh? That used to be so funny. Hella funny. funny. <clears throat> oh, man, I remember I used to go to, there used to be a site called soundboard.com. They always had the Jerky Boy shit yeah, on there. Yeah, always. It was back in high school days. You bring oh, man, this, it, no, when I was listening to Jerky Boys, that shit was like in the mid-90s, probably like 96. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, uh, one of my friends... He uh, had like a cassette of Jerky Boys, and I know what the fuck. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm like, what the fuck, Jerky Boys? And oh man, I was just laughing my ass off. It was funny shit. It was cool. Yeah, I had a CD of it, like '96 or something. Like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. That's about when they became pretty big. But they, they crashed hard, man. They died fast, huh? Yeah, and then uh, Trailer Park Boys took over. Trailer, Trailer Park, Park Boys. Boys is fucking hilarious. Well, it is funny, but they they did something different though. Yeah, it's different, but it's the it, same kind of humor. It I is think. the same humor, yeah. Trailer Park Boys is like a show, and Drinky Boys they did like a. It's a show, but kind of like a podcast, vocal. kind of. You know what I mean? But like a, um, it was just you know they didn't have no TV, no syndicate, no no cable company, nothing backing them. So they did it over, fuck, what they do it over? <laughs> just cents yeah. and CDs, huh? Yeah. Yeah. You know what, too? Uh, Back about in the old school days. Jerky, you gotta think about it, dude. Like, Jerky Boys was the pioneer of podcasting, in a way. Like, no. it wasn't, it, well, no. I, I say Howard it, Stern. No, 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 no. Howard Stern's more radio, he but, was, doing, he is. but doing what they were doing, making crank calls, doing yeah. all that kind of shit. Dude, that that to me was 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 great because anybody can go to everyone knows Howard but, Stern, but Howard Stern never did that shit. Never made crank calls. Bob and Tom used to do that shit. Yeah, though. but not like the Dirty Boys did it. <coughs> Excuse me. Not like the way they did. They have it. They had a craft. Yeah. You know, they nobody did. can talk that. That's why. But on the they radio, like Bob, long, Bob and Tom, when they did it though, they had limits and lines what they can do. Jerky oh, Boys I heard, did. I heard cock on fucking Bob and Tom the other day. Oh, it was yeah. funnier and shit, dude. Because you know. Bob and Tom, they get vulgar, you know, you know Bob and Tom, right? Yeah, yeah. They get vulgar, but uh, they do it like a... But that's uh, like now, I'm talking about then, though. A certain way, though. Yeah, yeah. no. But yeah. what it brings up, though, is because fucking Bob and Tom, you never hear them cuss. Right. Really. That's what I'm saying, though. Every then, once in a while you hear something, but cock, that was funnier than shit. But that's what, that's why I said, they're, you think about it, they started something that wasn't really recognized at no, the time. No, it wasn't, yeah. And they took it to the next level. Howard Stern did a little bit, especially when Big he went time. on, uh, was it E? When he used to be yep. on Channel yep. E? Yeah, when they start filming when him, have, that was kind of like his own show right, in a way. Right. But then when you have That's the Jersey Boys do it, they had, the they had no fucking limits. Howard Stern's uh, shows these days ain't really that good, though. No. He's in Hollywood now. He's in L.A. Well, it used to be good because it was yeah, original. It now fucking, it's like anybody yeah, can yeah. do it. Well, <laughs> we are. Th yeah, exactly. <laughs> anybody can do it now. The thing is, though, is nothing's shocking no more to anybody. No. You know what I mean? Nothing. Not at all. You know, all that shit that was shocking that were pioneers... It's just played out now. It's just like a we fucking need to get 10 some million local times. Porn, porn stars in here. If like you Beetlejuice. Yeah. Business, we need <laughs> like Beetlejuice. He said local. <laughs> <laughs> Look out for them porn stars. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where's the street at? Nice right street. about this yeah, time, no, the streetwalker should be coming out. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> the streetwalker should be coming out. Amen. <laughs> Yeah, come on, Cruiser, what do you think of that, yeah, man? Uh, come out uh, right more stars? Or yeah. what, are we talking what about your groupies you got going uh, on? Uh, see, all my groupies are in various other countries. And, uh, ah, shit. The, uh, this you, probably, you probably got an Indian one right now, huh? A what? Indian one. An Indian one? <laughs> an no, Indian no, or they're some hefty. shit. They're hefty. Well, yeah, BBW. Yeah, man. Yeah, everybody into me is hefty and rotund. And really? Like, yeah. No, but yeah, we're working on a plan, right? We're yeah. going to be a ref. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, but I mean, I Isn't lie and say him around. See, I lie and say I'm a firefighter or, or something like that. I mean, what are you gonna say to sell me to these women? I mean, how are you gonna do oh, that? Oh, I'm just gonna be. I can be way wittier, <coughs> yep. quicker online when I have a chance to think of a response. Right. So I'll I'll do justice and I'll give you the transcript. Can yeah. You, will you make me one to boss? Sure. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't. But I don't know what to say to uh, a lesbian. That's the only thing. Huh. Mm hmm You have beautiful eyes, my dear. <laughs> Will you go on, go down on me now? <laughs> <laughs> my last few girlfriends I met on POF. Yup. Yeah, so something I would say is like, my last two girlfriends I met on POF, and they really looked good. So that'd be, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> we're going to do this. We're going to get the green screen going, and we're going to, I was telling Margaret this, 
We're going to set Cruiser up like Cash Money Millionaire status. You oh know what I mean? God. Back, back in the 90s and shit when they had diamonds and platinum and all kinds of fancy ass cars in the grease. <laughs> you can have a grill. Sure, all right. <laughs> That'd be the shit, man. Well, let me ask you a question. If you go on POS, you know, that shit, yeah, it won't work. Wherever you been to go, work. are you looking? You just don't want to put the time in. Are you looking for a possible relationship, or do you just want to? Here is the uh, just a friend. The problem no. is the, the reason I've always been single is I can't uh, 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 get with a girl I'm attracted to. The, the ones I want don't want me. Right, I, I right. get all the ones that I don't want, but I'll uh, listen. I'll You'll take them. Sure, listen, I'll, sh I'll get a moment with their nether region, sure, well, I'll procure that moment uh, if they allow me to, and there are several, I mean, I've lost count of how many hefty, rotund ladies I've been with. Uh, the fat chick thriller, yeah, huh? Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, baby, like Mike Awesome. So if I, if I could get with a girl I was attracted to, yeah, I'd keep her, yeah, I'll so hold you, on tight. So he just hasn't met the right one yet. Yeah. So you think attraction right. is, is more important than personality? Uh, that's, well, I mean... Uh, maybe not. I mean, both are important. And uh, immediately, uh, attraction is the most important thing because if you don't have that, you're not even going to talk to that person at first. What kind of attraction? Yeah, physical, physical. personality, <clears throat> some kind of physical. Yeah, at first, because I mean, if they're asshole ugly. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just keep real. They're ass so ugly. You're not going to go up to them and say, what's up? You're not going to waste your time. If you're completely not attracted to them, you're not even going to want to look at them or talk to them. Or they smell like a fucking diaper. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, so, that's, that's also a part of physical attraction. Right, yeah. right. So, uh, scent. Hygiene. Yeah, scent. Yep, yeah. exactly. And so, you know what I mean? You're okay, not going to waste your time. I know you're like, trying oh. to uh, expel your pheromones upon me, but uh, it's not working. Those farts and... Right, the belches and shit. <laughs> 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 what do you say? <laughs> you know, oh, you're like, what yeah. is that I smell? Is that... Smells like fucking that, onions. Is, is that onions. strawberry summer with a hint of farts? <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, exactly. That's my favorite yeah. Yeah. yeah, wow. Get the That's a nice baby. perfume. Is that perfume number nine? Yeah. <laughs> Love still, potion nine? <laughs> I still wear that. Though. Oh, now I can start wearing it again. What's I that? I stopped wearing it for a little while. What's that? The chaparito, the, the oil that... Remember we used to go to... Oh, wait, I'll get my chocolate on you. Call me something uh, else. Oh, God. <laughs> We go to the Mexican um, voodoo store. Is that, is that like the Mexican the version of patchouli? Wait, are you guys serious? Is a Mexican voodoo store? Fucking A, there is, dude. Yeah, it is. No joke. They're mm -hmm. everywhere, too. I've been you to a voodoo store in New Orleans. Just gotta watch What's them. a Mexican voodoo store like? It's not a video store, a voodoo. voodoo store. Voodoo, voodoo. that's what I said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, you said video store. Yeah, okay. They did sell like that up. Well, they still got <laughs> yeah. video stores in Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they got beads. They got fucking beads everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Still uh, some VHS. So it's probably similar. They got, like, in They have different it's crazy, oils. It's crazy, bro. Oh, Day of the Dead stuff. Oh, hell of it. Mm, yeah, but it's not like, it's more... Put it this way, they got a Grim Reaper. Yeah. Well, even in the voodoo store, voodoo store... So but it, can, yeah, but it's not a voodoo in store. In New Orleans, technically, you know what I'm saying. In New Orleans, even in the voodoo store, they had a lot of Day of the Dead stuff. Yeah, you don't call it uh, uh, though. Like voodoo is that? It's more of um, what's the word for it? I don't know. Focus, focus. Yeah, there's. What did you? You've been it? brushing on your Spanish, huh? Yeah. Uh, Botanica. I'm going to Mexico soon. Botanica. Yeah, so there's a lot of stuff there. And, yeah, and that sounds I got, like a book. There's oil that I always wear. Mm -hmm. And it's a, it's like a pheromone, and it attracts women. It's not all voodoo, right? But the the voodoo part they have is fucking crazy. Like what? To bring some of that like what? They guys. got live chickens for you to buy to sacrifice, bro. Them, dude? They got a fucking no a Grim Reaper statue, a fucking big one that stands up, and he has like a plate, and they're putting money in there. They're putting drinks in there. They're putting fucking um, food. Whatever they so want to do. It's kind of like there. a bribe to, like, you know, stay away from death in a way. Yeah. You know who uses that shit? Nah. Cartel. Yeah, it's the, it's the bribe death. Yeah, straight up. Yep. Can you yep. imagine just walking they pay by their and way. You see, like, a, a They pay their cash. fucking way, like, uh, for their sins, for just killing somebody. They murder a motherfucker, rip his tongue out, whatever, you know. They're going to go there and they're going to fucking pray, pay their way. And there's drinks, there's all kinds of booze lined up, all kinds of shit. This shit's fucking Here's nuts. Thanks so for that Colombian necktie. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah for real, man. So it's just another it's way of a confession. Leave my, my, my face out, though, when you edit that part, please. Right? <laughs> Put his on there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Put his face on my, my body. 
they keep alive so the the reaper comes to get them. So then the person that right has they pay, pay pays right the, yeah. pay, but pays the debt. Not really yeah. paying a debt, you're more bribing the reaper to stay the well, away from you. No, because they're gonna come to you no matter what. It's yeah, just, right, it's right. Just, it's uh, by like, time, right? It's just a uh, it's an offering because whatever he did. He came and he took care of it, so now it's an offering. It's just offering. You're My good friend, man, she she uh put me on that shit, and don't put me game on that real quick, man. I would go in there with her, but it was um she wasn't like that. She was just getting like uh, they have all kinds of stuff too. They got scents, they got perfumes and uh, medicines. They got all types of medicines. You know, like, like that natural herbal herbal medicine. Medicine. right, right, yeah. right. They got all the salts. What's that? Those things like the stuff put on a wound, solve. Oh, like salve? Yeah. Solve. That's what you call it? Well, I think it's spelled with an Is L. Is it a can? <laughs> well, it can come in a jar. Or yeah, a yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you oh, know, remedy my grandparents, yeah, exactly. Yeah. My grandparents used to have salve, but it was in a can. It was like a red can, circle can and shit like that. And um, I'm, I'm sure they do. You know, they got everything that's pretty much uh, organic there, medicine-wise and, you know, like scent-wise, perfumes and things Mexico. like that. Yeah, yeah shit that everything big farm don't want you to have Chipotle. because it's legit. Med <laughs> you probably could. You probably get some peppers there. I'm sure. Uh -huh. You but uh, some shit to do something to somebody. It, the shit was just crazy though. I always thought right. those dolls were real. <laughs> I'll have to tell you, one day, man, we're gonna have to go over there, over at Cross Landing, and check it out. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were saying Mexico, but that's the same. It's close you, enough. you're not lying. Yeah. Yeah. Right in the heart of it. Yeah, mm -hmm. right in the heart of it. Yeah, it is little Mexico. You know what I mean? Hey, that ain't no fucking lie either, man. Because fucking that that uh, parking lot <clears throat> where um was it used to be Mia Pablos, I think. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's something else now. It's like Carna and Carna or Rita or mm -hmm. something like that. Right? All right, me and my boy at one time was rolling in there, and uh, it was like nighttime on Saturday. Fuck. That was the wrong thing to do for two white boys. <laughs> we rolled up in there. Holy shit, it was Paisa City, man, with all their cars <laughs> everywhere. We're reversing. We're trying to get out the way and shit. They're like bumper to bumper, man. They don't give a fuck. It's like destruction derby. They're trying to hit you. Oh, I got a story <laughs> for you. Similar. Go ahead, man. Um, me and my uh, buddy that I grew up with, like from ten years old, uh, he's another white boy, same neighborhood, West Side, off Martin Luther King and uh, right uh, Laurel. He was on Elm. Uh, we went to this uh, as twenty-something-year-olds. We went to this uh, probably late twenties. Went to this bar called El Limon. Okay. Uh, on like Sixth Street, Manesto, like real close to like. I know exactly where it's at. It's yeah. in the corner. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right where it turns the yeah, corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. And uh, you walked in there. There's a bunch of Mexicans in there, <laughs> playing pool. There's mm -hmm. women. There's men drinking, having a uh, fiesta, yeah. and uh, <laughs> having a good yeah. time. Yeah. 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 Exactly. We went, man. we went up and tried to order drinks, and they're like, "We're closed." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Discriminate on you right there, huh? Yeah. Like they still got like a sore throat. Yeah. <laughs> you guys look fucking old with me. Yeah. <laughs> this guy's playing darts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, and uh, what'd you guys do? Walked out? Left, huh? Yeah. What else are we going to do? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Hey, you never know, man. If they don't want us there, then we don't want to be there. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, exactly. I know that, but hey, sometimes it don't happen like that. Sometimes he ends up in fucking fist fighting. And we were like, hey, uh, outnumbered. outnumbered. Two, I know. So, yeah. I know. Outnumbered, yeah. But hey, it happens. And also, I went, like, if you don't want me there, I wouldn't. I guarantee if it was my cousin and myself there, it would have been on. My cousin would have said something fucking stupid and smart back in the day. And then fuck it, oh, it would have been on. It would have been fist that's flying. Guaranteed, right? Fist of cuffs. Right. Fist of cuffs. Fist of cuffs. <laughs> yep, guaranteed. Yeah, fist of cuffs. Huh? Fist of cuffs. a cruiser term. No, fist of cuffs, man. I don't know where I got that. Yeah. I have, uh, I heard it someplace. You it's know? old school, man. Yep. It's, the fist of cuffs like this. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, it's that well, picture of that dude with the mustache. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah the yeah. fighting Irish. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know. We go mano y mano. Yep, mano yeah. mano. Or, or like, uh, as the video gamers say these days, 1v1. One 1v1, hey, one one one. One one one. One huh? The old term, it's gonna fuck you up. <laughs> That's like, it. 2v2 in our 20s. Yeah, I'm off 2v2, 1v1. Verse? <laughs> you know what I mean? I've heard it before, I've heard it before.